Hi, this is Jim Kay from StairwayToVideo.com and this is just a quick video review of the Cam Ranger wireless control for your Nikon or Canon digital SLR. It does more than just release the shutter. It has a whole range of different options you can do wirelessly through your iPad, iPhone, and even Android devices and um, iPod. So let's get started and see what this is all about. This is basically what comes in the package. Uh, you've got your Cam Ranger device itself. And then if we zoom over to the left here, it comes in a box that is very, very similar to um, an I iPhone. Uh, and you've got a pretty good little starting quick start guide. You get this Cam Ranger bag to carry the Cam Ranger and all the accessories in it. Of course, you get the uh, Cam Ranger wireless box itself, rechargeable battery. You get uh, this USB cable that actually plugs into the Cam Ranger and charges it with this uh, AC adapter. You get a, an internet type cable and then you get a, a USB cable to attach it to, in my case, uh, a Canon digital camera. I highly recommend that you go right to the Cam Ranger website, www.camranger.com, to get full details on uh, how it works and some of its features. But let's just read real quick on their first their homepage on what it says it can do. Cam Ranger allows wireless control of your Canon or Nikon digital SLR directly from your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, and now Mac computer and Android devices. Um, Let's go to uh, the features page. Cam Ranger is a standalone device that connects to your select Canon or Nikon digital SLR cameras with a provided USB cable. It creates an ad hoc Wi Fi network that your device, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, Android, or Mac, or Windows computer, can then connect to. The free Cam Ranger app then enables control of the camera. There's no need for a computer or existing internet connection. So basically, this Cam Ranger creates its own little wireless network so that you can connect your either your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch or Android device or even your PC or Mac right to your camera and control it. The thing that's so amazing is this is this is kind of what it would look like on your iPad and when you've got it in the manual mode, you can actually control, you know, shutter speed, f-stop, ISO, uh, you can even touch the, the uh, screen to focus. It's really an amazing, uh, an amazing app. So uh, let's take a look at some of the other features. So the first thing to probably do after you get your Cam Ranger and get it all unpacked is you want to make sure that your battery is fully charged. So you pull this apart from the back here. Insert your battery. Close it back up. And to see how much it's charged, you want to turn, turn this on right here. And you can see the green light is on. Now if it wasn't if it wasn't charged enough there would be a red, your red light would be on and then you can uh, you can charge it up with this included cable and AC adapter. You can also use this um, as, as permanent power like say you were videotaping over a long period of time and you didn't want the battery to go dead you can just plug this in right here and uh, you can have full AC power plugged in without having to worry about the battery discharging. After you get uh, your Cam Ranger set up with your wireless network, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the light is blinking. That's something to look in the uh, look in the manual for. Once you get it all set up, um, you're going to have this USB cable into your camera plugged into here and into this part of the Cam Ranger. And once your wireless, like I said, is all set up, you're ready to take pictures. So um, you've got You've got many things that you can set up yourself right on the screen on the computer here. You've got, I can change my ISO if I wanted to change it to ISO 640. I change it here, it changes on the camera. 
So let's go back to 500 because that's how I had it set up. If you want to uh, change the shutter speed, I've got 1 one thirtieth of a second. Uh, 1 thirtieth of a second, I should say. I can change it to 1 two fiftieth of a second. Uh, let's change that back because it was working well at 1 thirtieth without a flash. Um, you can turn this live view on and off. If you want to be able to see it live on your computer, you, you click live view on or off. I'll shut it off here. You'll notice that uh, now I've got a static picture on my screen and the screen on the back of my camera has gone off. So let's turn it back on again. Now my live view is showing on the back of my camera, but I have to manually turn that back on. All right. So once we've got this done, let's, uh, let's take a shot. I'm going to go down here to capture. I'm going to click it once. Just took a picture and now it's going to add it up into here to show that I've taken that picture. If I think it's a little bit too dark or not bright enough, I can change the ISO or the shutter speed. So let's go ISO uh, 640. Let's see if we like that. We'll take another shot, capture. It shows up in here on the top again. There it is, and that's a little bit brighter. So that's how easy it is. That's how easy it is to take a take a picture using using Cam Ranger's own wireless network. Again, uh, that was on my computer using the app on my computer. Uh, the same the same uh, menu items would would show on your iPad or iPhone also. So. Um, Anyway, that's it. So I, I've seen online there are guys using their cameras on these, you know, 15, 16, 18 foot poles, and they're able to get aerial views of people's properties, of, uh, you know, weddings. It's just amazing what you can do with, uh, with this wireless cam ranger when you set up your own wireless network. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Cam ranger is awesome. I just wanted to make one thing clear. In order to access your camera wirelessly through the Cam Ranger wireless network, you're going to have to select it. So you have to go down to your internet access, and you can see right here I've got uh, my Cam Ranger. My, my regular wireless network is connected, so I'm going to have to go down here and connect to it. Once I'm connected to uh, Cam Ranger, it'll say connected and then you're off and running. You can now uh, take pictures wirelessly through the application. And that uh, holds true for either iPad, iPhone, PC, Mac, whatever. You have to connect to it wirelessly through that network. If you like this review, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to join us at www.stairwaytovideo.com for fun articles and techniques for beginner video editors. Thanks.